This is a pressure sensor and in this video I'm going to show you how it works and give you the code if you want to use it in your project. This pressure sensor is basically a resistor that is sensitive to force. As I apply pressure or force on this two metal layer pad, the resistance will be modified or changed accordingly. So that's how it works. And now we can read the resistance using an analog pin on the Arduino. Let me show you how this works first. So I have my sensor or the resistor here and I have a servo just reading the value from the sensor and applying it to the servo angle and as you can see here as I press on the sensor the servo goes in the other direction I can press and hold this is just to demo that the force being applied now you get the idea so don't worry about the servo right now. I'll give you the code. I have other videos explaining how that is connected to the Arduino and how it works. But I'm just trying to show you how this works and how you can use it in your uh, applications. So now let's look at the wiring and I will give you the code at the end. Now let's talk about the wiring. So let me disconnect a few things so it will make sense. I'm going to remove this first and... I'm going to also remove the servo. By the way, the servo is connected to pin 11 here, but I'm going to remove the servo just so I can make things simple for you. Now we have this, which is the resistor or the pressure sensor, if you want to call it. It has two legs. One leg is very straightforward. It's going to go to the 5 volt pin. So you can see here, I have one leg connected to 5 volt, and I'm going to take this off. The other leg, it's going to connect twice. One to the ground through this 10K resistor. So through the 10K resistor, it's going to the ground pin. So this is the ground pin. It is going to the ground pin through a 10K resistor. And the same leg, it's going directly to pin A0. That is the analog pin 0. Let me turn off my Arduino. and. Here, let me say it one more time. One leg goes to 5 volt directly. The other leg is going to have two connections. One to the ground through a 10K uh, resistor. And the other connection is to A0 or to any analog pin that you want to use for the reading. I'll show you a picture here on the video. And uh, let's look at the code as well. So so before I show you the code, let me show you the circuit that I drew on a Tinkercad. If you want to learn this, let me know. I'll make another video. Uh, but this is for free on Tinkercad. This is the uh, resistor, or uh, you want to call it pressure sensor, I guess. Um, you have one leg that goes straight to 5 volt on the Arduino. The other leg, we have one connection. This is the yellow line that goes to A0 directly. The other one goes from that same leg to the ground pin through this uh, 10K resistor. So this is the circuit, really simple, and this is our Arduino. Now let's look at the code. It's really simple. I just wrote this as simple as possible. As you know, I always try to do this, and I want you to expand on this if needed, but I want to give you the simplest code possible to get you started. Um, here is the uh, library for the servo. Uh, by the way, you don't have to use the servo. I was just trying to demo. So I included the servo which uh, to just demo how things works. Uh, this is the servo object, so don't worry about that really if you don't want to use the servo. Uh, the servo is using pin 11, so I have the servo attached to pin 11. This is for the serial monitor here, and this is our loop. First, we have a pressure variable to store the value. This is the pressure we are reading from the analog pin 0. As you can see, the value can be between 0 and 1023. And that is kind of high to pass directly to the servo. So I divided it by 5 and it worked out perfectly. Here, I'm just outputting the pressure 
value so I know what I'm writing to the servo. It helps with troubleshooting and you do need that delay at the end. So this is it uh, for the code really quick. Again, I will leave a link in the description to my uh, GitHub repository if you want to copy and paste. This is it for this video. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.